Good evening and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the national report. Topping the news tonight, the latest evaluation of shantytown preparations show that hundreds of migrants say finances are holding up their relocation while shantytown task force residents or team members are still seeking out alternative housing for those who are prepared to leave. Tonight, DeAndre Williamson has the figures with less than two weeks to go to the planned evictions. Haitians living in shanty towns now have nine days to move. Shanty Town Task Force Chairman Senator Dion Folks providing an update on this process and says some residents are moving. Well, I can tell you Lazaretta Road, for example, um, which was featured on one of your stations last night, um, there's only two families there now out of 30. And I think one is moving today. Um, so there'll only be one <coughs> remaining. A significant amount of persons have already moved and some buildings have already been torn down by the residents themselves. Um, other than Lazaretta, I don't, I don't want to give you a full figure, but I would say anyway, because I, I don't have the empirical data and I don't, I don't want to give you misleading information. But depending on who you speak to, it can range from anywhere from 30% to 70%. Haitian Pastors League President Jean Paul Charles also renewed his call to the government to give shantytown residents preference to acquire the land after demolition. He says there are 150 to 200 families who are willing to move, but are challenged with funding. I've been talking to the government, and then uh, we're here to continue to appeal to see if they, since they have been living in this area so long, if something can, you know, they can assist them. And what we've been saying is, for the government to have the law in one hand and the other hand to have compassion. Folks says the government plans to transform shanty towns into affordable housing communities that meets the country's building code. All of the land, the vacant land that will be made available as a result of this exercise will be used for the development of low-cost housing for Bahamians. Once you're Bahamian, you have the right to, to apply no matter what your descent is, whether you're Jamaican Bahamian, Canadian Bahamian, Haitian Bahamian, no matter. Once you're Bahamian, you can apply. For ZNS Network News, I'm DeAndre Williamson.